Hello, and welcome to E3D's Unreal Materials, an introduction and application. And through this DVD, we're going to be going through a lot of the common nodes and kind of giving a base foundation on what these nodes mean and how they can be used in different ways. And after we get through with that, we're going to go through several real world examples. And what you see here is a scene I had quickly put together with BSP. It is in no way represents a real environment, but it's just something to quickly show these materials on some kind of surface with some kind of basic lighting. And this scene is going to come with the DVD, and you could see a couple of different things that I chose to do here with uh, showing these materials off. And you can see we have places where we have placed some rubble that we're going to be going through making. And for the rubble, we will be going into Max and explaining how a modular set of these could be used and then how the shader could help sell these looking so unique uh, by just sharing the same textures. And the window, you can see here how we can see into the interior, but it's just a flat surface. So if I show you here, these are just flat BSP surfaces. And if I turn off textures, it's very, very simple. And you can see here with the brick wall, it's just a tile brick. We have a couple things here showing off displacement and we have the brick being broken up by a rock texture. We have this ground with some stain decals everywhere. And really, there are several things we're going to go through, but a few interesting things are these textures will be free for you to use in your project, whatever they may be. There's no restrictions like there were on the old damaged pillar. So you can pretty much use these textures for whatever you want. And you could use these shaders for whatever you want. And the video really starts off with very basic understanding of Unreal materials and the nodes and anyone should be able to pick that up and get a grasp or understanding of what those mean so any beginner should gain a lot from this and as I get into more of the complicated materials even a lot of professionals can help understand how to create these shaders from scratch or if you have to go in behind someone else and fix some of their materials or optimize some of their materials you will have a good understanding on how you might be able to do that. This is more geared toward beginner to intermediate, and maybe in the future I hope to do an advanced one to where all this foundation is laid so we can go into really complex materials and shaders and how to do some more interesting things. But I think most people will get a lot of valuable information out of this, and they should be able to incorporate this into any mod or any game or any personal work to show off even normal 3D models. I've used Unreal in the past just to show off some of my personal work because I like the render, I like the lighting, and it's a good way to quickly get something in there and make it look nice. And you can see here how I've even placed some of these pieces around large so you can see different uses of these things. And even these decals, you could see how they can really break up 90 degree angles. And since this whole map is 90 degree angles, uh, it helps it. But like I said, this is just a very simple test scene. But I have added some lighting, uh, post processes, and stuff like that. So if you wanted to poke around in this scene and try to figure out all the little things, then I would encourage that. And if you have any ideas, suggestions, or feedback, just post on the E3D forums and I will gladly answer any of it. So hopefully you'll get a lot out of this. This is something I wish I would have had a couple years ago. And I think most people will benefit from it greatly. I really appreciate you purchasing this video and I hope you continue to support our efforts as we strive to make the highest quality uh, training for next gen video games possible. Thanks.